Oh, out there in YouTube land. Well, it's hot down here. I'll see if I can get in the picture. Don't want to get too much of this. Whoops, there goes a toad. I think I'm in the picture. Let me see how high that is. Uh, is my head higher than... I can't even see the blade in that. Wow. Anyhow, somebody commented that, um, that I took this uh, little guard off. I didn't take the guard out. Some of the movies are old ones I just if I don't find them particularly interesting or something like that then I move them to a different spot and wait till I don't make a movie and I was gonna make a sawmill video this afternoon but um, changed my mind a, a helpful viewer said that he thought that the cable in the back was slopping around and it is a little loose it has, it's never been adjusted since I put it on 30 years ago it's the original cable to the best of my knowledge so it may be uh, I, I'm putting this mill probably back into the 40s, somewhere around there. So that that cable could very well be older than me. So I I went down it with a rag and all the way down and up and down it and looking for little defects. And I did find one little defect, which I don't know if it's even big enough you can see. Right here, there's a few little frays in it. So that means it's giving up the ghost right there. So I think it warrants a new one before I saw any more. The one thing that would be a major catastrophe if that cable snapped off and gotten that blade at, at the RPMs it was at. So I think that that was a good call on that viewer and a and a just better to change it. So I'm gonna pull that off. The worst thing about it, I was gonna saw that log this afternoon, or I saw in the afternoon. It's probably about four o'clock now. It's just too daggone hot. And that, these blades don't like hot. You know, I don't know how to explain it. Heat, heat expands a little bit, and on four foot, when that heat expands, it just, uh, it just doesn't saw as good. I, I don't know how to explain that. So I'm going to roll that down and pull it off, and I'll probably just push it down by hand. In fact, you guys can watch it and see, and then I'll get in there and show you what's got to be done to change that. Uh, change that uh, cable. Old see now somehow I remember. That's one nice thing about a little light mill and it's not hydraulics, it's manual. Most of the time you can grab on it and push it. Of course it can make a liar out of me this time, no doubt. Not too bad. Uh, well I got it here. I, I, I'll come over and discuss another thing. I'll roll that off in a minute. One guy has been kind of adamant about you can't turn logs down it's on safe and all this kind of stuff on the uh, YouTube and I guess that's his opinion he's he's entitled to it he says you know you're not supposed to turn logs down and I'll discuss it you saw that last log that it that it crashed on me um, when you I hope this is on big enough that you can see it I put these um these wooden blocks out. I pull this one out and set it on there like that and that's what I'm going to do take this off. That's what I should have actually done on that log is had these out and that would have prevented it from falling down. Now on the real sawmills these bunks come all the way out just like that come all the way out and you might have somebody if you got a lot of help that can dog but if not you've seen me many times jumping over these bunks to do that last dog or you could just dog it on the first one and roll it up and dog the rest I mean there's a different a lot of different methods because I don't know what I'm going to do in that new number one mill I do have the bunks on that one all the way out so a log can't drop there as far as turning them turning them down um, almost all the big mills start to turn the logs down the, the reason you turn it down if you got a nice log like this you don't need to turn it down because it'll roll easy um, you might turn it down if it's real big because if you got a flat on this side here that makes this side light and that side heavy and you want this over there so then you're bringing the heavy side up now what you've seen me do a couple times I guess I'm not in that movie again am I boy I need a I need a camera man I, I need um, uh, I don't remember back for backwoods 40s he has a three a 3d camera and that thing is slick. You can move your mouse and follow him around everywhere he goes. I never see anything like it. Never seen any other one on YouTube. You just move the mouse around when he works. He doesn't use it all the time. 
But that thing is just slick. I guess I'm in it now. I don't know. I guess I gotta go back in it. I'm getting old and senile. Uh, trouble is, it's an itty bitty screen. It's about a two inch screen, and I only got about a half inch eye. And now I don't even remember what it was. Oh, when you when you saw this off, you got a log that's way out of balance. And what you generally like to do, <clears throat> and I like to do, and most sawyers like to do, even though they do it a lot different on a lot of the band mills, <clears throat> get your flat your flat face out. Generally, I take a slab wood, then a board that has to come back for trim, and flip it over and do the same thing. But when you start flipping a big one over, say you've taken your slab wood and maybe three boards into it, and on the other side of slab, or <clears throat> okay, so now you have a board, a log that's super on un, unbalanced, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's hard to get it up on the other side because what you want to do is get 180 and back up against these L's or knees or tuba fours or alien spaceships, whatever you want to call them. So what I've done on the last couple ones because it was just too difficult to roll it up is I put my jack up there, get the top face in 90 degrees and then saw it that way. You, take, you had to pull it in, take the slack out of it, make sure this is level because your sawmill's level. So if the sawmill's level, then this is level, then you've got a 90 degree cut. And for all the junk wood that I cut, I mean, I'm just cutting uh, barn siding and junk like that. It, it doesn't matter if it's, if, if you were a couple degrees off on the end, it wouldn't make a, any difference at all. So anyhow, um, if I can, I like to roll them back. But the problem is, <clears throat> Um, oh, did I show you those things they make for rolling them down? I don't remember. I think I showed them in the past. I don't remember who that gentleman's name was. He, he's not being mean or anything like that. He's just being him. These things are meant for turning down. Is what you do is you roll them up and the flat will come on down here and it'll roll right back onto your bed. You're supposed to have one here and down there or in, so your log will fall on it, whatever, you know, if you're short, short sawing shorter logs you'd have to have them closer together well this is good down here because I got a fixed bunk but down here I don't have a fixed bunk so I can't do that now I've been thinking about making one of those but they didn't make those because you're not supposed to turn logs down they made those because sometimes it's easier to turn logs turn logs down and I'll show you why on good old sticky wood see all the bumps knots and miscellaneous junk on there well, you could, if you saw a nice face on this, if you can get it, you might flip it 180 and then have one of these knots hanging down and you're not going to get past the mandrel. What do you do? You know, it's, it's aggravating. And you might, you might think, well, do this, do that. Well, the easiest thing to do, and that's why they flip it down. Once you have a flat on there, you're good to go. Now, if I had a hydraulic log turner, like Mark does up there, he's got a log turner who spins it around like, like a magic wand. Ain't no magic wand here, guys. This is me. You know, when you see one spinning around, it's like one guy said, it's Armstrong, and that's all there is to it. So, you know, he can take one once he gets it, but he's still got to have a flat face. And if he has one that's hanging down, he gets into the mandrel, he's going to have to turn it. He's not going to get through it. It's just that simple. Um, so... Just to get through it one time, I got to take all these turtles and crap stuff off of this, off these logs. I might not, if I get one flat face, I wouldn't have to do that. But look at it, guys. Can you can you see all the? I'll take this off and look down. I haven't finished cutting this one off. Those are some gnarly logs. That's another reason I don't really care for cutting pine. You don't get any money out of pine wood, but it takes the same amount of the same amount of. It takes more to cut a pine log like this than it does to cut an oak log like that. That I can get easily a dollar a board foot for, or not easily, but that's what I'd sell it for. This you're looking at 50 cents a board foot. I spent an hour last night cutting all these, all these things, you know, protrusions, male log, camel hump. See the size of some of those? Just so I can get into it. That, that took me over an hour to get that out, out of there. And so this one I'm hoping that I can get on the mill but to turn this thing any way but down would be, you know, you'd be lucky. It's just too big. It's 32 inches here at the, here at the uh, back end of it. And that one there, see, it, it's got a lot of things that got to be cut off. But it's still, 
Once you got a flat on you, turn it down. Once you have a flat on you, you're good to go because you can always turn it down. So sometimes you turn them down, and that's just the way it is. And that's why you turn them down because you got a flat. And a lot of the new automated mills um, have what they call kickers that just flip that log right back down. They're kicking it forward. They're kicking it forward and then re-dogging it all automatically. They're, they're sitting in even more sophisticated um, control centers than Mark has. Mark's got a nice control center with I don't know how many buttons in it. Those big ones m might have a hundred buttons in them. I, I don't know. I've, I've seen some pictures of them on YouTube. It's interesting to go look at them. So um, whoever that guy was that uh, says you don't turn logs down, I sent him a couple uh, video share things to show him that yeah you do they do turn logs down that's not a strange thing um, but most of them that turn down like I said have a bunk that comes all the way out so you can't crash and if I had slid my two boards out and put that one in this little cubby hole here I wouldn't have had that error so that's why I said it was a stupid stupid mistake but when you have and when you have the log receded and your bed is a lot longer than the flat than the flat here you wouldn't gonna you i've never seen one slide out that easy that's just the bottom line and sometimes that stuff happens so there's not going to be any saw and i'm going to roll this roll this log off you can watch me roll this log off hopefully not on the ground hopefully not on my foot i'm going to be rolling it down which is the same thing and it, it if you're rolling it up to get it to get it on a mill why couldn't you roll it back to take it off the mill or or roll one down if you're sawing it just that kind of I thought it was kind of interesting that 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 you know you're, just, you're not supposed to do it. Of course, I forgot to forgot to do the dog. The reason I have these here is because I don't like walking all the way. I don't want to be too much of an acrobatic going around all this stuff. So one dog. I, I've I watched some Sawyer's saw with just one dog in there. I, I don't think I want to do that if if they can do it and. Then that, that's fine. Um, okay, where are we at now? I got my dogs all. My dog. I released the dogs. Now I'm going to release the last dog and roll this out of the way so I can show you what it takes to get that cable off. I'm going to go ahead and change it because I'm going to put a new blade on there pretty soon. And I just can't imagine. The, uh oh. Look, it finally caught up to me. I might not get this one. I might have another crash. If I pull on this, it's going to get a crash. I knew that. I knew that was bad too. I got another one made, but I don't like it. So I uh, don't use it. Well, are we going to crash? <laughs> That's pretty close. It's thinking about it. Oh man, it's close right there. Ah, we made it. I guess I got to change that. <laughs> That's been that way for over a year. And I made another one. Was that another close call? That's been broke for a long time. Like about a year. And I made another one, but I don't I don't like it. It does it just doesn't See this is the other one. It just That one I made it to go this way. And it's just a hair tight, I guess, because of humidity. And uh, I had to take it down to the joiner and make it just a hair thinner. Because um, I don't think I'm going to use that other one anymore. It's kind of... It's called in sick. Called in sick. Anyhow, this one's actually back as far as it has to go. We're turning a short movie into a long, drawn out movie. We'll put a little chalk in there did you see that i probably didn't you know i sit there and look at stuff and don't even think that don't even think about where the camera's aiming i'm a amateur there's another little chalk if you got a sawmill you got chalks all right here's what you got to do you got to loosen this big bolt here okay and that'll come that'll bring that eye bolt out and then there's just another one down to the other side see it right here here's the two things to hold the cable that the cable was too long 
but the cable the cable looks good all except for that one little spot I don't know what caused those little loops in it there's like I said this is the cable that came with a mill and I bought it 30 years ago that one bad spot I don't know where it is so anyhow that's what I'm gonna do there ain't much point in video in that because I can't fast forward it through so you'd have to suffer through all that but I'm gonna get a good pair of thick mittens on there in case there's any other little needles to be caught so over now for now guys we'll see ya I'm gonna put this on tonight it's hot it's a, got 110 heat index I really didn't want to saw today anyway but I got to get back to I, got, I need two more pieces of sticky wood oh I got to show you show you I, I got this cleaned up back here I got some of that cleaned out that's going in the burn pile I just don't need it uh, we got cleaned up back here the the new bunks that I made I don't know a while back you might have seen me working on them uh, there you go that's that's over six foot tall guys and it's over four foot wide and I don't think it's four foot deep though so and I still have some more down there that's that sticky wood that's what we've cut down there I think there's about I'm guessing right now about 500 board feet down there I gotta calculate it um, the lady hadn't called me now I haven't heard from her in uh, probably two weeks so thanks to that gentleman for telling me about that we had a different kind of movie today and probably might have saved a crash I don't know it's it's good if you see something mechanical in here sometimes I miss that stuff and um, I'm, I'm all right changing that I, I think I'd rather be safe than sorry and hopefully the new ones made of quality because I know these old ones were all right over now if you like this kind of movie do me a favor and hit the uh, it's a good time to hit that like button and uh, if you want to see more of total chaos at a sawmill um, hit the subscribe button and every time I download something sometimes you might see splitting wood or other miscellaneous stuff but um, Anyhow, hit the like and subscribe, and if you don't like it, send it to somebody you don't like so you can annoy them too. Um, appreciate your time, and this is going to be a Friday Eve video, a double, a double one, because Mark got one on, he cut a, cut a pretty log today, you got to go see that uh, if you haven't seen that yet. Um, that's um, Bus Motor Production, Mark Galici. Anyhow, him and him and Eddie, and he has another helper back here. He's got to introduce that other helper. I imagine he has, um, but that's not fair to have two helpers. Just, just not fair. That, that's, that's. I bet there's probably it might be a law against that. So I don't know. But go up there and watch him, watch him chop up that log. It was, it was a pretty piece of oak. So over and out. We'll see you guys tonight. You'll see this. It's the actual day. It's today is um, Thursday. No, no, it's not Thursday, it's Friday Eve. I messed up. See you guys, bye.